Good morning, guys. Uh, it's actually morning for me, and probably not morning for you, but we are gonna take this on the real world mile per gallon test. This is the 2024 Mazda CX-5, and this is the carbon edition. So it's the mid-level um, on the turbo side. So this does have the 2.5 liter turbo engine with 256 horsepower. I really think it's the one that you wanna get. Um, we're gonna head up to the gas station, get filled up, get this test started, I'll take you a, a quick look around inside and then we'll get going. So this is Zircon Sand is what they call this color. It kind of looks a greenish on the camera. It looks a little brown, but in real life, it looks a little green. Go to the cargo area. This doesn't have as much cargo area as the CX-50, but it's really close. So you can see it's a ample amount of room. Shouldn't have any problem with most of your storage for your trips. Back seat area, this does have the terracotta interior with the black mesh inserts, and they are pretty nice. I mean, this is this is full leather. It feels, you know, it doesn't feel vegan leather. It actually feels like real leather. Um, I kind of like the two-tone color. It does look nice, but you can see there's probably not quite as much space in here um, in the back seat as in the CX-50, um, but good for children. We'll have to see later in my full review uh, about the seating area and see how much space is back there if an adult can sit back here. We'll go up to the front and there is your door panel with a little bit of terracotta stitching going around. Kind of blend everything together. You do have powered seats with lumbar and memory seating there. But it's pretty nice. It's going to be pretty similar to the other Mazdas. They really haven't changed this CX-5 in several years. so. Okay, that's it. Let's head up to the gas station and get filled up. We are here at the local gas station, and this doesn't call for any special gas, so we'll just put the 87 octane in. This just came to us, so it should be pretty full. I only drove it for about a day, about 40-some miles, so it shouldn't take much to fill this up. Okay, so right at two gallons, basically. So I'm going to wait five more seconds. Three, two one we're gonna do one pull all right that's it so we put in two and a half gallons so we should be around three and a half to four gallons after this test but that's what we got there and if you're wondering in illinois right now 297 for 87, 367 for 93, and 359 for diesel. All right, let's get stuff reset and get going. Here are the gauges. They're actually pretty nice. They're not fully digital, just the center part, but we are going to reset. This center trip is going to be trip B. That's what we're going to follow. All right, we are reset. I'll give you a rundown on the parameters of the test, and I will also give you some more information about this vehicle if you are interested in it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna update you as I leave town and enter town and give you our mileage and uh, how many, what the mile per gallon is currently. So, all right, I will talk to you guys in a few minutes. Setting up the car. So this is gonna be driven in normal mode. We don't do an eco mode. We're not trying to hyper mile these cars or anything like that. It's not how our test is. This is a real world test. This is how normal people drive their cars. So we're driving normal mode. We drive five miles per hour over the speed limit because that is the average for most people. So 60 on the highway, 75 on the interstate, and in town, we're going to be looking at somewhere, anywhere from probably 35 to uh, 50 through town. So uh, that's how that's gonna be set up. Of course, tire pressures are all set to where they're supposed to be. Um, temperature in here will be between 68 and 72, um, depending on the car. Some of them, it it's a little bit cooler. Some of them will run a little bit warmer. Um, so that's where we're going to sit right there. I think we're going to be brought at about 70 on this one. 
and I am running the heated seat on low. It is about 40 degrees outside, it is rainy, so uh, conditions aren't the best for this test, but we have a really nasty weather coming in and it's supposed to drop down to like one degree. And I wanted to get this test in before that weather hits um, because I'm going to freeze my butt off during the re full review. <laughs> so make sure you guys check that out because that's probably already up on the channel. It'll be linked in the description and at the end of this video. So we're gonna be driving a hundred miles, be 50 miles in one direction. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna come back in the opposite direction, the same route, uh, the other 50 miles back to the gas station. Now the only real big thing there is in the two towns that we drive through, we will do a loop in each one of those towns to get some city driving in. So we get that mix in. And so we're looking at about 20 miles of city driving, 20 miles of interstate driving, the rest will be highway. Um, that's kind of how it is here in the Midwest. We have to drive everywhere on the highway. Um, so it's kind of given a, a Midwest, <laughs> real world mile per gallon, if you want to call it that. Um, we, it, we have to drive you know, anywhere from 15 to 30 miles to get to anything. So. Um, that's what this test is about. What you can average over 100 miles. So, um, wind today is right around maybe five miles per hour, um, and but it is cold, and we will be driving against the wind part of the time. Most of the time, the wind will be on our side, um, either side, and then on the way back, we'll get a little bit of breeze behind us. So, but that's why we run in reverse order, so that way we negate all of the weather conditions and the terrain that we're driving through so all right that's it on that and i will update you guys on this car a little bit later in the video so stay tuned all right we are entering our first town so far from the gas station to this town we've driven 8.2 miles and we are at 26.1 miles per gallon um, i will Get you guys the numbers on this here shortly and that way you guys know where we're at and in this town we are going to drive a loop through this town and before heading out back out on the highway and i will update you when we get done with that loop and hit the highway don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet um, it really goes a long way into helping us get more of these vehicles so please go down and subscribe and hit that like button so it'll help spread this to more people that might want to see the CX-5 other than yourself. Made our loop through town and we are back out on the highway now. So far we are at 13.6 miles, 26.2 miles per gallon. I did look it up. This is supposed to average 22 in the city, 27 on the highway, and then for an overall average of 24 miles per gallon so right now we are about two miles per gallon over that but we'll have to see how it holds up when we on the highway and through interstate driving but, so as i mentioned earlier this is the 2024 mazda cx5 carbon turbo edition uh, carbon uh, does not mean that it's got carbon fiber it's kind of what everybody thinks and it is not the top trim it is kind of an entry into the upper trims. So um, I'm not sure why it's called carbon, but it doesn't have carbon fiber inside either, really. It's got a little bit on the dash, but that piece is actually plastic, um, although it looks like carbon fiber. So I, that's really the only thing there. The carbon basically is just a trim line. The other thing about this CX-5 is, is that it really hasn't been touched since 2017 when they updated it. So it's, it's been eight years on this same generation. So it's due for an upgrade. But the question is, are they going to upgrade it with the addition of the CX-50? CX-50 is a little bit bigger, a little bit stockier, looks a little uh, more masculine, I guess you'd want to say. Um, so I don't know what they're looking for with this CX-5, what the future holds for it, but the one thing I can tell you is, is that it is an awesome machine. I have never driven a CX-5 and I'm actually having a lot of fun in it. Uh, we have owned a Mazda's before, we owned a Mazda 6 and we love that car, 
and this one is just it's it seems a little more fun it's almost like it's a a hot hatchback if you want to call it that um, it just feels that way when you drive it's a sporty drive this carbon turbo edition starts out at $37,000 and this one with its options and destination fee comes right in at $38,410 so you go up to the other trims above that you're gonna add probably another three to four thousand dollars on top um, so you just have to decide what you want and what you need out of this the zircon sand paint was um, a little bit more expensive that was an extra fee um, and it's uh, the zircon sands are only available on the carbon edition of the turbos and I believe the Meridian edition of the CX-50 so uh, that is also a thought if you really like this color but that's a little info on this car and we're getting ready to head into our next town so I will update you on that and we'll see how this trip is turning out we're entering our next town and so far we have driven 28.1 miles and we are at 27.1 miles per gallon so we are three miles per gallon over what we should be averaging so it's doing great uh, we're going to make a loop through this town and then we'll get up on the interstate so when we get ready to get on the interstate i will update you where we're at all right we are getting ready to get on the interstate and so far after that loop through town, we're at 36.2 miles and 27 miles per gallon. So we are averaging three miles per gallon over what the EPA has stated. Right, we're gonna get on the interstate right here. And of course, while we, when we get up here, we are going to accelerate very quickly generously however you want to phrase that just like you should be doing when you get onto the interstate we don't need people like going really slow up to the end and then trying to get on real fast once you get up to a straight line we punch it just like we're gonna do three two one go Wow, that engine sounds really, really good. So we are up to 75 right now. So that puts us at 37 miles. And what's that say, 27 miles per gallon still. It should drop here just a second as soon as it kind of catches up. But uh, so we'll probably see that in the next area where we uh, get off the interstate, make the loop and start on our way back. There we go, drop down to 26.2. So. That's what we got going on. You can see it's kind of nasty weather. Wind's not too bad. It's only like about five miles per hour, but it is rainy and kind of just nasty. So I will get in touch with you as soon as we get ready to make our loop around. We're coming up on our exit and right now we are at just hit 50 miles at 26.3 miles per gallon so it pretty much rode that the entire time so we'll see what we get on the way back i think we're going to be going into the wind on the way back here so that probably won't hold that 26.3 i'm expecting it to go down but as of right now we are about a little over two miles per gallon above what the epa rated at 24. So it's doing very, very well. Always been impressed by Mazdas. I always feel that they always get their miles per gallon or they do a little bit better. And this one is really doing a lot better. But how much better than the EPA that it's gonna be. Let's get back out here onto the interstate after making our loop right here. And then we'll accelerate. And you guys can hear the wonderful sound of this mazda 2.5 liter turbo engine just sounds amazing i don't know if it's the engine i don't know if it's the exhaust that the way they mazda puts it together it just sounds good sounds fast and fun so get ready get straightened out here we get three two one
All right, get locked in at 75. Of course, that's going to drop off a little bit. It did go up to 26.5 when we made that loop. I am expecting that to probably drop down to about 26 or so here shortly. But I will update you as soon as we get ready to get off of the interstate and head back through town. We're getting off the interstate here in just a second. And so far after that drive, 64.1 miles and 25.6 miles per gallon, uh, which I thought that we were gonna lose some because we were driving into the wind. Um, it's not a big wind, but it is some. So that doesn't surprise me. Oh, we are still over one and a half mile per gallon above EPA. So we are still doing really well. Um, of course, whenever we get back, we will um, do a calculated test on a calculator to make sure that Mazda's number that it's reporting on the car is accurate also. I will update you guys in a little bit as soon as we get through this town and make the loop in the reverse order that we did earlier. So I will touch back with you guys in just a few minutes. We made our loop through town and we are headed back out onto the highway now. So where we're at is 72.7 miles and 25.7 miles per gallon. So it's slowly creeping up and I expect it to go up uh, even more on the way back because we will have just a little bit of a wind kind of pushing us that we were driving into on the way here. But I will update you when we get ready to enter the next town. We are coming into our last town, so we're going to make a loop through this town also. Right now, 88.2 miles and 26.4 miles per gallon, so doing really well. And uh, the, so that's like almost two and a half miles per gallon above what the EPA has rated. So after we get through this town, we will check it out before we get on the highway and we'll be headed back to the gas station to wrap this test up. Just got out of town and back out on the highway, headed back to the gas station where this all started. So right now we have 93.8 miles, 93.9 miles and 26.4 miles per gallon. So we're still about two and a half mile per gallon above EPA rating. So that's what we're looking at. We might gain just a little bit more on the way back because we still have that tailwind on us now that was a headwind earlier. When we get back, we'll run the numbers with the calculator and we'll see if Mazda's correct on their mile per gallon listing because I know we're going to beat the EPA listing. All right, this is the town where we started at. Got our gas. Let's see where we're at right now. So we are at 100.7 miles, 26.6 miles per gallon. So I thought we were gonna gain a little bit more than that, but we didn't. So um, we should be sitting right around that 26.6, maybe 26.7 by the time we get up here, maybe. But we are right at 100 miles. Um, the last test, I believe it was 101.7 or something like that. So. We're going to probably get 101 here. Um, see if we can get the same pump. As long as we get the same gas pump, that will be good. Looks like uh, we can. We are here. We're in park. We're 101 right on the dot. So 101 miles, 26.7. Okay. That's where we're at. I'm going to get a picture of that. And we'll have it up on the screen when we do our numbers. Okay. Again, like there's no special gas that we need to use so we will use 87 we'll get in here We're ready okay we can go and we should be somewhere around three and a half to four gallons let's see what we end up with Ooh, 3.2 that was a little surprising i thought it'd be more than that all right we're gonna give it five more seconds Three, two, one. Do one quick pull. All right, that's it. Anyway, we got 3.589 gallons. So I will take a picture of that and we'll have that on the screen when we do our numbers. Let's get this wrapped up and see what we end up with. 
that went well. Um, no, it's not ideal conditions because it is raining and stuff, but it's real world. That's what happens in the real world. It rains. It's not, it's not sunny and perfect weather and cool and everything like that every time you get out and drive. So here is a real world um, mile per gallon test in the rain and the cold and everything like that. So here we go. Calculator is up, so we did 101 miles, and we're gonna divide that by, it was 3.589, 3.589 gallons. That gives us 28.14. So, um, I think Mazda's gauge is a little off. I'm not sure what happened there, but yeah, they're a little off. I believe in the last Mazdas, last couple Mazdas that we did, um, the Mazda CX-50, I think it was off that much also, or pretty close to that. So um, that video will also be linked in the description. So 28.14, that's really, really good. That is above the highway, um, EPA highway estimation. That is above um, Mazda Eve stating on what the car says. So excellent 2024 mazda cx5 carbon turbo edition is 28.14 or 28 miles of the gallon is what you should average over 100 miles check out one of these two videos next to me um you know it's going to be the review on this cx5 if you want to see more in-depth stuff in here and i threw the cx50 up there also because if you want something that's just a little bulkier more off-roadish that's going to be the one for you so thanks for joining me don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet um, it really goes a long way into helping us get more of these vehicles so please go down and subscribe and hit that like button so it'll help spread this to more people that might want to see the CX-5 other than yourself. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.